On this episode of Fix It Friday, we're going to get this old Sears push mower mowing again. First thing we're going to do, it's easiest to do, we're going to check and make sure it has spark before I go through the trouble of pulling the carburetor and stuff off. A lot easier to pull a spark plug out than it is to pull a carb off. <clears throat> it's a little wet, a little dirty. It smells like old gas. So that's not good, but not too bad. It could be a lot worse. So I'm going to put <clears throat> the threads or this metal back here where the wrench goes on some metal and it'll act as a ground and then you try to pull it over, pull the motor over and you can see a spark there if everything's working like it should be. You'll see a spark between the, well at the end of the spark plug you'll see it. Forgot the handle has to be depressed on these. So one of my customers brought in their push mower the other day, and it had this on it. I didn't know what it was at first, but realized it's to hold the uh, the lever down, so you don't have to hold a tight grip on it all the time. You just put it around the handlebar and lock it, and it holds it for you. Pretty slick. called a cable raptor spelled w a w r a like wrap yeah very funny very funny okay can you see the spark i don't know if you can but definitely getting a spark so that's good. <laughs> that means the electrical side of this is working. Now Pull the carb off, see how it looks. Okay. So I can't get to the screw that's on the back side of the carburetor. The gas tank's in the way, so I'm going to move the gas tank. Luckily, it's just clipped on. No kind of hose clamps or anything. A lot of faith in some rubber. I love how simple these old machines are, man. I mean, where else would you see a gas tank that just clipped on, clip it off whenever you want? Air filter, lids just clipped on. Comes right off.
That's some nasty looking gas coming out of there. Never realized. Well, I always realized I liked air because it kept me alive. I could breathe it. Never realized how much I would like it when you compress it and let me blow it out in a gun. It's like it compresses all the goodness. So I think next. I'm going to drain the gas tank, look inside of it, make sure there's nothing floating around in there. Put everything back together, see if she fires up. I hope it does. If not, I don't know what else it could be. You got spark, getting fuel. And air. Air filter looks good. Probably blow it out with some uh, compressed air. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd say that's the problem. Gas looks like cat piss. It's actually kind of thick. Put it back together, took it outside. Put some fresh gas in it. Oh. It's leaking gas for the bath. It wouldn't start. So I was gonna do a compression test on it. But it's leaking gas like crazy. Looking right, right where the gas line meets the carburetor.